Any believer going against Israel, you are making yourself an enemy against God. First of all, Israelis and Palestinians worship the same God. The same God of the Abrahamic religious. It's just that because you are a Christian, you believe that present day Israelis are the Israelites mm -hmm. that are mentioned mm -hmm. in the Bible. And that their land, Israel, is a holy land and a land that was promised to them by God. But fact tells us otherwise. Present day Israelis are not the Israelites that were mentioned in the Bible. They did not leave Egypt and travel through the Red Sea to that land in Israel. The Israelis we know today are from Europe. They are Ashkenazi Jews from Europe who went to Palestine and stole that land in 1948. That's when the Israel we know today was created. In 1948, they are on bloody stolen land. There is no difference between them and the white people in America who stole land from the Native Americans. There is no difference between them and the white settlers in Canada who stole land from the natives in Canada. There is no difference between them and the white people in Australia who stole land from the aboriginals in Australia. They are bloody colonizers. There is no difference between them and the white people who took over South Africa. Darren puts it perfectly well when he calls these Europeans the global settler community. Everyone today who is rallying behind Israel is going to lose. I mean, obviously they're going to lose. Because rallying behind Israel just shows that you are still stuck in this old colonialist, imperialist, racist, western supremacist mentality that the entire global south rejects. And frankly, not just the global south. I mean, there are huge numbers of people in the west itself who reject this. The majority of people on earth reject this. So you see, you're showing the whole global south. You're the whole world that you can't change that you're the same as you ever were i think the west and america in particular needs to understand that the whole world is seeing you for what you are your stance on palestine makes it starkly obvious to everyone that you are not actually mature or developed enough to deserve a leadership role in world affairs and certainly not in the affairs of the global south certainly not in all of the countries that have been your victims all these years i mean there's no repentance on your part there's no contrition there's no moral improvement or change in you. You are exactly the same people who wiped out the Native Americans. You're the same people who regarded Africans as subhumans. You're the same people who murdered hundreds of thousands of Japanese civilians in a matter of seconds at Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki. You're the same people who dropped napalm on civilian villages in Vietnam. I mean, on and on. Nothing changes. And nothing exposes this today more than your stance on Palestine. Nothing demonstrates that you have not changed or developed in centuries more than your shameless support for Israel. And believe me, you're alienating the whole planet by this. When you back colonialist Zionist violence against the Palestinians, everyone sees it as emblematic of your whole attitude to the non-Western world, to the non-white world. Everyone in the global south identifies with the Palestinians. Everyone in the Muslim world identifies with the Palestinians. When when you declare your support for total war against the Palestinians, when you declare your support for a psychopath like Netanyahu calling for basically a final solution against the Palestinians, well everyone in the global south gets the message. You are deranged, immoral, barbaric, bloodthirsty, racist savages. And all your talk about human rights and the rule of law and all of that is all just hideous hypocrisy. You don't mean any of it. And you never did.